Hey everybody, Jared back once again. So in this video, I've got another useful application for you guys. Uh, it's a text messaging application and it's actually called text messaging. <laughs> so it shouldn't be too difficult for you guys to find. Um, now the reason why I chose text messaging is because of its simplicity. Now if you're looking for an application that has a ton of bells and whistles and all kinds of crazy ass features, uh, this is not the app for you. But again, to reiterate, this is why I chose to review this application. So this app actually has a lot of added functionality to it, or at least a little bit of added functionality to it to make it this much of a useful application. Um, going ahead, and as you can see there, I press the button to get into here to compose a text message. You can go ahead and click that little attachment button. You have access to your pictures, videos, or you can even take a picture if you wanted to and attach it to the text message um, with ease. Now. Clicking the settings button, this is where obviously you get into the meat of it. Um, bunch of settings in here. So you've got a set message background. Uh, if you wanted to, you can choose between black, gray, white, and auto. It would have been nice to select some sort of, or to have one of those features, you know, where you can like pick the specific color you want by moving your finger around. You know what I'm talking about. So I just went with black just because I kind of like that look. Um, you can also delete, have it automatically delete old messages. Um, so if you have one particular message thread that has like a certain amount of messages, that being like, for instance, this one is 200 messages. Um, it'll actually delete that thread and so on. That's not something I'm interested in doing particularly. Uh, also, while we're in here, one thing I did want to point out is that although the mess the application works flawlessly, the settings menu here seems to be not that optimized for speed and performance. As you can see, it's quite chunky as I'm scrolling here, although you won't be spending a lot of time in here as it is anyways. Um, moving down from here, you'll notice, oh yes, lock screen settings, awesome. So yes, when you receive a text message, it'll actually show up in your lock screen. Now, a lot of devices don't have the ability like Android 4.2 or Android 4.1 where you can actually access, like stock Android, um, the text message from your lock screen and actually reply to it within your lock screen itself. So this kind of adds that functionality to your device if yours doesn't have it. Um, so we'll go ahead. Now there's some other um, um, settings in here as well that you can even hide the privacy or control the privacy of the text message as well. So say for instance, you receive a text message and you don't want people and it's just lying on a table at a restaurant. You don't want somebody while you're in the pisser picking up your phone, you know, pressing the button and being able to see who's sending you the text message and what the text message is about, you have the options to remove that feature. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll back out here. Now I'm gonna send a text message um, to myself here by locking the screen. Give me one moment, I'm just gonna go on my computer and send myself a text message. All right, so we've received the text message and as you can see, first and foremost, your screen will turn on right away and eventually will turn off, um, how, just like any text messaging application. But you'll notice that um, all we gotta do, and it doesn't show the text message right away, but if we wanted to see what's going on, go ahead and press your finger on it and it'll show you the content of that particular message. This person, or myself in this case, decided to send me a message that says the smoking android is awesome, which is 100% true. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and slide it off to the right and it'll jump right into your messaging application and from there you can go ahead and reply back or if you wanted to, um, you know, not deal with that application or with with the message right now, uh, we'll go ahead and show you what we do or what happens when um, when you don't want to deal or reply to a text message right away. So as you can see, we just received our other text message. Now, say for instance, we don't want to reply to this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm like, ah, I don't feel like replying to you right now. Just go ahead and slide over the X button and it'll just bring back your regular old lock screen, which is awesome, nice and simplistic. Um, it's useful, I like the clean interface, it just works and it's definitely an upgrade over what your stock messaging application provides you with, all right? So again, there's other applications that do a whole lot more, but if you're looking for something with simplicity and that added feature with the lock screen messaging, um, this is definitely something to consider. Anyways, it's actually free in the place. I'll be posting a link in the description below for you guys to go test it out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. That's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below as always. Much, much appreciated for that. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, you may want to consider too by hitting that subscribe button just above the likes button um, for more videos like this in the future. We do try to put out five videos a week. Um, but again, yes, thanks for watching. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.